Hi guys, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most famous offensive security VM. Same like Kali, but the difference is this is not Linux. This is Windows based. This is called as Commando VM by Mandiant. Mandiant is part of the Google security. If you want to know more about this, you can simply Google Commando VM GitHub. And with the first link, you can go to the GitHub page of the Commando VM. As you can see, Commando VM is complete Mandiant offensive VM, fully customizable Windows based pen testing virtual distribution. So this is the logo of the Commando VM. This is fully customizable. You need to have Windows 10 with the at least 80 GB of hard drive. I recommend you better if you can install this on your VM, which we are going to do today. So this is uh the idea of today video let's get started how we can we'll see how we can install this in our windows 10 vm i have already prepared my windows 10 vm uh i don't have 80 gb but i just have like 60 gb around 60 gb space but we'll see what, how we can do this so what you have to do is first you have to download this install.ps1 file so all the instruction down here open windows security first you have to disable your windows protection actually i have already done that but we'll see again we'll go one by one and we'll try to do as per this guidelines so first you have to go to the virus and threat protection and turn off real time protection, cloud delivery, turn off everything. It's better if you can turn off these from group policies, but I'm not going to do that right now. And um, yeah, we did this part and I'm not going to do this. And yeah, this is the instruction for turn off your windows defender firewall using the gp edit which means group policy so i'm not going to do anything because uh, i don't want to do that if you want really you can do it it is not mandatory i believe we can do that without doing that also you need to have a PowerShell with administrator privileges. So what you have to do is first you need to download this. I'm going to do that one first, download zip, and I will download it to my download folder. Uh, I will delete my Firefox installer and extract all the files here, just like this. And here we have our installation script. What we have to do now is we have to go back to the instruction over here. And it is saying, okay, run the PowerShell as administrator, then type this. I'm going to copy and paste this here. Hope you guys can see this. I will increase the font size a little bit and press enter yep it's done now we need to download to the this location we need to navigate to the, this location cd what is my location yep this is my location yep. and i'm in my Commando VM download the location with the PowerShell and we need to unlock the file using step number six using this command. Just type it and press enter. Now we are good to go. If you want to install with GUI, you can simply type this command install.ps1 or else you can 
mention that command and after that space tag cli so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the gui version and i'm just entering the install.ps1 and press enter so this will take long time what you have to do is just give the instruction what you want to install and then just leave the laptop or your vm and it will install so as you can see we have everything all good so just click understand and click continue okay i will minimize this we no longer need this close this one as well yep this is the installation um, window in the gui as you can see there are five profiles available this is default profile and full profile it will all the tools which is comes with and light profile only bare minimum essential tools and developer tools specifically for malware developing if you are really into malware development you can go ahead and select the developer package as well as victim you can set up tools for payload testing you know you can set up this as a victim pc so here you can select when you click that you can see it will change the recommended space it's 80 gb 100 gb likewise the light version needs 60 GB and the victim version needs 50. I'm going to go with the default one. I'm not sure whether it will install or not because I don't have that much space. Um, but let's give a try and install. And we need to enter your Windows VM password. That's it. What you have to do is you just have to wait and see how it's going. The thing is this will restart two three times maybe more but you don't have to do anything you don't have to run the script again and again the script will do it for you automatically that's how it's programmed let's wait and see how it goes and we'll catch up once the setup been completed then we can go through the tools and we can see what's in there as you can see the setup been done and here is the node the log file simply and we can close it and we can close this one as well so see um as you can see the desktop background has been changed and it has added some tools over here uh we'll go to the this one you can see tools in C drive, lot of tools. It will could be like I think it has 80 tools, 79 almost, 79 tools being installed, like CyberChef offline version, which is good. And as you can see, Tor browser, VLC, Commodore Tools, or oh, Commodore Tools also here. Commander tools here. You can click and open exploitation tools. A lot of things in there. Credential access. Command and control. Oh, sliver is there. Merlin there. Convent there. Which is good. You can try all of these on your own environment now. Now you have like completely offensive security VM with the tools that is the advantage feel free to try if you have anything just leave a comment on the comment section we'll catch up with next video thank you